Now at 7, countdown to Election Day. In six days, America decides who we want as the next President of the United States. The candidates are back on the trail targeting voters in key battleground states. Early voting totals continue to show high turnouts across the country. More than 73 million Americans have already cast their ballots. In an effort to win as many of the votes that remain, President Trump plans to visit 10 states during the last week of the campaign and hold 11 rallies in the 48 hours before Election Day. The presidential campaign will also bring both candidates and their surrogates back to the Sunshine State, where we can expect Joe Biden will continue to put pressure on the president over his handling of the pandemic. CBS 4's Ty Russell joins us live now from Doral, where the president is expected tonight. Ty. Well, Lauren and Elliot, President Trump is expected at his property here in Doral in just a few hours. However, he has his sights on Central Florida, including Tampa. In the meantime, his opponent, Joe Biden, is also expected in South Florida tomorrow, and he, too, has his sights on Tampa. Hours from now, President Trump will be in Miami-Dade. He's staying at his Doral Resort. His campaign hasn't released any events for South Florida, but he does have Thursday stops in Sanford and then a rally in Tampa. I don't think anybody's ever seen anything like this in the history of our country politically. Uh, this tremendous support. The president was in the Southwest for rallies in Arizona today. The CBS News Battleground Tracker shows he's slightly trailing in that state. <laughs> Presidential nominee Joe Biden and his wife voted in Delaware today. Biden is scheduled to be in Broward County for a drive-in rally tomorrow and then a drive-in rally in Tampa that evening. The campaign is continuing to criticize the president's handling of COVID-19 as cases increase across the country. Miami-Dade is seeing a slight increase of patients in hospitals. The refusal of the Trump administration to recognize the reality we're living through at a time when almost a thousand Americans a day are dying every single day is an insult to every single person suffering from COVID-19. Vice President Pence continues holding large rallies in Michigan and Wisconsin as some of his close staff members battle the virus. Vice presidential nominee Kamala Harris was also in Arizona to rally Latino and black voters to cast ballots for the Democratic ticket. Since President Trump and former Vice President Biden will be in Tampa tomorrow, University of South Florida political science professor Ed Benton says Central Florida could likely be an indicator of who wins. With Hillsborough, Polk, and Orlando, and Osceola, all the way up to Volusia, that they would almost always correctly predict, going back 30 and 40 years predict predict who won the election. Local party leaders know the impact South Florida has on presidential elections. In Miami-Dade, state numbers show more Democrats have voted early. Many have cast vote-by-mail ballots, but more Republicans are showing up to vote in person early. But both sides are confident. No, this is actually above what I was thinking. We're on pace to you know, smash uh, the, the turnout that we put out in, in 2016. Um, so we're, we're feeling very confident here. We just need to keep working. We're catching up. And I think overall, we're seeing a lot of energy and a lot of excitement on the Republican side for, for our candidates. And the CBS News Battleground Tracker shows Florida is still a toss-up. Those poll numbers are too close for anybody to call on the state to see which candidate is in the lead. However, Biden does have a slight edge over Trump. But again, anything can happen. This is Florida. Now, in the meantime, we are expecting more surrogates to be traveling the state, even when the nominees are not here. We are live in Doral. I'm Ty Russell, CBS 4 News.